Det er ikke materiale. Det lille karakteristiske teknologi er det. Det er jo det som er det med sånn som det ser ut av det du er i. Det er det. Det er det. Så la oss gå. Ja, 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 det er det du er i. Det er det som er det. Det er det. ทั้งนั้นแหละก็ที่ชินตัวเชื่อเรื่องสำนึกที่นั่งกินเต็มไปเชื่อว่าทุกที่ทั้งที่ที่ตัวชงเรื่องเพื่อมีเรื่องทั
转面，好，手心动的动力，看看斜的小路，啊，速度，越南湖边上路的，哇，东西越，两车越，前方，越越，看这个速度图，看那水兄弟，继续，继续，跟跑，出路，三七斜吧，左跟前跟来。天气越南越北北面，东方忙过了，当年暑假时，随时要把马赛，夏天呢，有时不，天太热了，晒呢，马上穿不洗，随时要把，太阳干了，暑季，四处也不洗衣服，洗不干，太热，烫的，完全，让我们不能，你也不，随时去的旅行。Asa-ro-kong-jin-tang-ki-ze-wang-la-mo-gyo-chung-gur-dan-jel-gami-kong-jin-pe-ni-chi-lo-chi-che-tang-pe-gi-gat-ni-na-ni-rang-wa-rang
啊，到工作的地方去，关税的话，那边，看他们那边，啊，那么多，来年年多少呢？来年年，军队吧，啊，那么多，来年年多少呢？ Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello.
Chosen me easy, eh?
Into the bed. Stop the genocide. Into the bed. Stop the genocide. Into the bed. Stop the torture. Into the bed. Stop the torture. Into the bed.
China out of Juta now. Yeah. 
Nimelo draga pugu DJ ya pesho da kuchi Ngelo 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 pesho Free Tibet Free Tibet Tibet belongs to Tibet belongs to Shame on CCP Shame on CCP World leaders unite for Tibet World leaders World leaders Trudeau Trudeau stand up for Tibet Trudeau 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 Stop the killing Stop the killing Stop the torture Stop the torture Stop the genocide Stop the genocide Stop the mining Stop the mining No human rights No human rights Stop building dams Stop building dams United Nations We want justice United Nations United Nations Wake up, wake up You Wake up, wake up United 
Obrigado. And the cost of free Tibet is not lost. It's still what our aim should be. It's still what the world should be supporting the Tibetans, not only in Tibet, but around the world, that are saying it's time for China to get the hell out of Tibet. It's a long time, but it's better late than never. So we should continue to let the world and stand in front of places like this and others all around the world and just say, get the hell out of Tibet. Get the hell out of Tibet. Get the hell out of Tibet. Ladies and gentlemen, most of you know that I have had a passion, a love, and a great deal of respect for Tibet, the, the Tibetan cause, and that I am very, very close to many people, most of the leaders that I have met. The one reason I'm here is to reassure you, and again, I apologize for being a little late. I got tied up to reassure you that as long as I have breath, as long as I have life, I will be here to support you. And we must never stop, we must never cease. And we must, as a family, we must remind the world that Tibet is still an occupied land and we want the free Tibet. Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Tibet. Thank you. Continuation of our struggle for freedom and justice. A reminder of the reason we continue to fight. As I speak to you today, I cannot help but reflect on the sacrifices made by our people. The Come Dig It Damn protests, born out of the desire for basic human rights, took a tragic turn. Over 1,000 Tibetans were imprisoned and dreams were shattered. All because Tibetans dared to want to remain in their homes, dared to want dignity. The media blackout in Tibet exemplifies the CCP's deliberate attempts to silence our cries for freedom. But we refuse to be silenced. We refuse to let this moment be a mere peak in momentum that will later die down. This year, Freedom House ranked Tibet a zero out of 100 for freedom its lowest ranking ever. Yet even under the most crushing circumstances, our spirit of resistance shines brighter than ever before. The victory of Tibetan community against Thermo Fisher, a mega corporation complicit in the CCP's theft of Tibetan DNA, proves that even in the face of, adver of adversity, justice prevails. That campaign win was a testament to our resilience, our unity, and our unwavering determination. We should not only look back at our triumphs, but also envision the limitless possibilities ahead. Look at everything we've accomplished, the awareness we've raised, the solidarity we've garnered, and the voices we've amplified. As we've gathered here today, let us renew our vow. We will not back down, not in this generation, nor the next. And a message to the Tibetan youth here today, I want to thank you. Thank you for standing firm, speaking boldly, and never wavering in the pursuit of justice and freedom. Our resilience today shapes the tomorrow we dream of. 
Let's continue to stand together, uplift each other, and work tirelessly towards a brighter future we envision for Tibet. Pig yellow! Pig yellow! Pig yellow! Kushinong, thank you. A journalist, writer, and human rights activist who will share a few words. Today is unlike many other anniversaries, which are mostly to commemorate of a tragedy and a sadness. Today is the 65th anniversary of Operation Day which shows that our courage and especially that showed we fight back against to the Chinese tyranny that thank you very much for Tibetans being the model of the resistant movement not only for Tibetans but for the whole world especially for Chinese Thank you so much. I just uh, shared a story that once we and uh, my husband and I, we brought a friend to attend the Tibetans event in front of the, uh, at Queen's Park. When people started shouting slogans and our friend quickly disappeared. And then we asked her, why? And she said, I was so frightened. I was so scared. Yes, because supporting separatists is a serious crime. That people are being so frightened, so scared. But now we are all the separatists. We all have been separated from the Chinese tyranny from the CCP's tyranny. And we are here not only supporting Tibetans, but we want the Chinese communists to know we are all the separatists from the Chinese tyranny. And we must unite together. One of my new mission is promoting the restoration of Manchuria. If you look at the map on the northeast of China now, it was a great country, was occupied by the Chinese government, by the Chinese communists. And from Manchuria to South Mongolia and to East Turkestan and Tibet and Hong Kong, we all need to unite together to make a very, very strong support and the alliance and the fight back together. And we are going to win together. Yeah. And uh, we have young people and uh, old friends are here. We want to show we are always being your supporter, strong supporter forever. And the daddy, please. Free to bed! 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 China out! Free to bed! Free to bed! Free to bed! Stop colonizing Tibet! Stop colonizing Tibet! Stop colonizing Tibet! Yeah. 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 One minute, one minute for... Uh, as the uh, representative of the Mandarin speaking community, I want to say, it is my greatest honor to fight with Tibetans side by side. We will support you, as we always do. Our allies will last, get keep going. We will take no compromise until the thoroughly liberation of Tibet.
Let's fight together! Free Tibet! Free, Tibet. Free China! Free, China. Free every nation that has been subjugated! Free Nigeria! Free East Dukistan! Free Hong Kong! Free Hong Kong! Free Hong Kong! Free my name is Wen Ying. I'm the co-chair of the Toronto Association for Democracy in China. I'm here in solidarity with all the Tibetan people. On March 10th, 1959, Tibet lost its freedom. Tibetan people, you lost your country. And over 85,000 Tibetans were killed because they stood up and resist the tyranny, the forced occupation of the Ch People's Republic of China. When I'm, so, as the previous speaker has spoken, we are here in solidarity. We are here in saying, shame on China! Shame on China! Shame on China! Free Tibet! I also want to just do a shout out to all the Tibetan women. For last Friday, last Saturday, Friday, yeah, March the 8th, is the, it was the International Women's Day. And here I want to do a shout out to the Tibetan women for the Tibetan women uprising on Tuesday, March 12th. I'm here with three messages. One is to the Chinese government, to the Commun Chinese Communist Party, to the People's Republic of China, that they cannot get away with it. The world is watching. The world is watching. This genocide cannot continue. They are going to pay for the price of all these tragedies. The world, is the world is watching. The second, we take courage for, as a human rights activist from all the resistance, all the marches and protests that you have done for the last 65 years, and I'm sure you will continue until we all win. The second message is to our, to our, to our Canadian government. As Canadians, we want our government to have the political courage, yes. the political leadership to say no to China. Yes. Say no to China. Yes. Stop the China, the foreign influences, stop the infiltrations, and stop the threatening, the blackmail, the monitoring, that's go the surveillance that's going on on our Canadian soil. Our government needs to have more backbones. They need to stand up for all of us. What happened in Tibet has taken place in Hong Kong, and it's going to be, Taiwan will be next. After the uh, Taiwanese elections in Jan just last month in January, Xi Jinping has instructed the, their military generals that be prepared for war. It's not whether it's going to happen, it's a matter of time, it's a matter of when. In Hong Kong, after the 2019 movement, the NSL, the National Security Law, Beijing controlled Hong Kong government, still think it's not enough. They are rushing to pass the Article 23 of the Basic Law, which is a mini a constitution of Hong Kong. We, it, they're rushing to pass it in April, before the next June 4th anniversary. What they will be doing is stepping up to silence all dissent, either in Hong Kong and China, and globally as well. 
So we are saying, you know, it's this is really such a dictatorial actions. What they will be doing is people who are arrested for speaking out, act pro-democracy activists, would be detained for 16 days and denied of lawyers, access to lawyers. And whatever they say, it's very subjective. You know, they can brand anyone as a political activist, as having relationship with foreign agents and so on and so forth. So what do we, so we are saying China, our Canadian government, our politicians need to step up. Just because you want to get elected doesn't mean you have to count out to the Chinese government. The third message is to all of us here as human rights activists for universal free, value of freedom, dignity, human rights, and democracy. Much as we might be, have difference in language, cultures, and religion, we share the same goals. We are in the same fight, right? Yes. So I want to invite all of you. This coming June 4th, it will be the 4th, 35th anniversary of the Tiananmen Massacre and the 5th anniversary of the 2019 Hong Kong pro-democracy massacre as well. We, so, the TADC along with the Federation for Democracy, Democratic China and S Assembly of Citizens are going to be organizing a series of events on June 4th, the June 1st, which is a Saturday. We are inviting all of you to come to our candlelight vigil and concert for democracy. It will be at Mel Lastman Square at 7 and we'll send out more promo. But Please be there in solidarity as well. It's same fight. We are want we want the we are fighting against the same enemy, same tyranny. Let's join the hand and do it together. When we fight together, we win. When we fight together, we win. When we fight together, we win. Solidarity. These Chinese people, make them aware of the history. Let them know and ask them to join us. Because if they know, it's no longer acceptable to stay silent. Because stay silent means that you're being complicit. And they should know that it's only standing together with the Tibetans, with the Uyghurs, with the Hong Kongers. We stand a chance for freedom, for freedom for Tibetans for freedom for the Manchuria, for freedom in Hong Kong and in East Turkestan. So free Tibet, China out! Free Tibet, China out! Stop genocide in Tibet! Stop residential school in Tibet! Tibet belong to Tibetans! Long live Dalai Lama! Thank you. Uh and then that you saw the jumper, get up yellow and ube, get a number tamala, two chicheta, and then missing a pool to get a two share catch issue a year. Then I took Kenny Chimbo Shuja Chade or a shed year. Maroto Ranze, Marabadimus and his shed, Nata Chegore, Teneza Nato, Cheg, Chol, Mala, Tamaka, the Malum Nigrava, they get the Jinji Chego at the Ketchimbor. Nazo 
ตะทรีเดลยังอจุมิมังกุชิวจิจอมนาชะอจุขุติซุจุซังเมกิซับชินทุเจชวยอินอะนิตะทรีนาชิงกิงอจุดินเจมุทุนิจอมทุบะยิน
Bene, non mi roba gomito. Thank you. 